is our pass for Salt Fork State Park. What's up, social media lady? Oh, I just got a text from the pet sitter. She's going to be headed around 4 o'clock to our place. Take care of our kitties. Yeah. Um, got it leveled. I, I really had to get this tongue down to the ground because I guess we're kind of going downhill, but I didn't realize that when I parked it there, but it's all level now. Oh, yeah, it is low. <laughs> Bought some new American flags, so we put them out by our sign. They're a little crinkly right now, but they'll straighten out. Let me see a little weather. Look at that. Somehow I managed to uh, injure myself, and I'm not sure. So anyway, we were pulling the slide out, and I had this problem on the slide out before. Right here, this piece. I'm not quite sure. It's like a weather seal or something, but look at this, the screw's coming out. So there's nothing holding it. This screw's coming out. And that, in turn, hits. And you see it's already ripped the seal right there. And then, to make it this water seal that went up underneath it there, completely has ripped out. So, great. And the same thing happened last year to the other side. And uh, I'll take those screws out before they rip that anymore. Because what I'll have to do then is get longer screws. And I pull this completely off. And I put uh, silicone underneath it. So that water doesn't get in there. You can see water and stuff's getting in there. And... Uh, the water's actually was laying in that thing, so Man, I don't even know who designed it or put it together, but oh, here's the other weird thing. There's actually duct tape on this end of it, so what did they do? Did they duct tape it last time? Is that how they fixed it at the dealer? I don't know. I give up. I'll fix it myself, and I'll probably do a better job. That's what I did here. I got bigger screws, longer screws, siliconed it all the way, and then pulled it in with those screws till the silicone oozed out. Now this, the same plastic piece on the other side, look at that. It's broken too, so that ain't gonna work. I'll have to fix all of it when I get home. But it's fine for now. It, it really, uh, you know, doesn't have anything to do with the operation. It's just a little glitch there. Well, we're all set up at Salt Fork State Park. Is it getting cool in there yet? No. No. I should tell I'm all sweaty. I'm going <laughs> to fix that arm. Uh, she's going to do some first aid on me here. It's an antiseptic wipe. Oh, it's not going to hurt, is it? You want it to hurt? <laughs> oh, wait, this is your good arm. Yeah, that's my good arm. That's not even the bad arm, so I gotta take care of that one. I don't know how I always gash up my arms. I got scars all over my arms. Oh, I just I guess I just dive into things head first and I don't pay any attention to what's sharp and what isn't. We got a ton more band-aids. There we are, we've got set up and we got a nice pine tree there, but it's not doing us any good because our trailer opens up to the other way. No shade. The air conditioner's running full blast right now, and it's still 90 degrees inside the trailer out in the blasting hot sun. So that's when you go visit your friends who have been here since last night and have it nice and cool. So right across the way over there, our friends Sean and Marilyn have met us here, and we're going to go over and check out their camp. Step into our humble abode here. See, we have raspberry bushes, but we don't have much of a side yard here. This is my buddy Sean. And uh, we, we... What's happening, cats? Yeah, what's, uh, what's up, go. cats? What's up, cats? Yeah. And Marilyn, this is their campsite. Cool. What's up, Marilyn? Not much. <laughs> what's up with you, Edgy? They got a striker. See? See this? We've been gifted. Aww. 
We have biker jam. We got fresh That's made right. biker jam. Yeah, right. Strawberry rhubarb. We were counting on that. <laughs> That's some good stuff. It's very sweet. <laughs> we were going to come flying up beside you on the bike and get you to stop and pardon me. Do you have any biker jam? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. Yeah. That was our plan. That was awesome. So yeah, we have our... Uh, we have the motorcycle, we have the mountain bikes, and we have the kayak Golly, stuff. Hey, look back. at this. These guys got everything. And a, and a grill. And a pop up. And, well, and, and two kayaks. All. Nice. It's uh, it's really high off the ground here because of the slope. But so you had to unload your bike on a little more level ground. Well, I did it out here on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, before we even backed in here, oh, we out there. And that... it's not very steep when, uh, when you're sitting on the. Yeah. On level surface, it's it's easy. Yeah. It wasn't uh, it wasn't scary at all. I like it. That's it how was, we uh, roll. Quite nice, but this thing sits really high because it's made to be off road. It's oh, got, okay. It's got gas shocks on it and everything. Really? It was designed to be off road. There you go. It's got, a, it's got an 18 gallon fuel station on the other side with the nozzle that pulls out to refill your toys and. Very nice. Yeah, we're happy with it. I didn't realize these big things big had tanks. all those bells and whistles on them. It's got oversized holding tanks, 100 mm -hmm. gallon fresh water, and oversized uh, gray and black tanks. Oh man, I need to go stay. RV shopping again. You can stay off grid for quite a while in them. Yeah, we've got like 44 gallon fresh water, so we can do three days and then we're starting to get low. We could yeah. probably do four, but we'd really be rationing it. Yeah, it's we can. I took a shower last night when we got here and. We'll have enough to shower through the weekend. Great, great. Ideally, unless we do too many dishes. That's her the, thing. The very she first, do dishes all the time. The very first trip we took it, we ran out of water. What we thought was excessively early, but come to find out if you just go by what the gauge says inside. We were watching the gauge to see when yeah. it was full. Well, that's just silly. Because if you fill it up till the water runs back out of the, the inlet, it, it's like, it seems like it's another 50 gallons. Yep. Our gauges don't our, don't tell the truth either. We'll use our ours for you know a couple hours, and it'll say that we only have half a tank left. Yeah, and it's it's still full. <laughs> so anyway, I guess it's probably easier to go in the back. It's a, I don't know, they're both a high step right now. The aches and pains. Mother's Day. We that's were king. Camping and I woke that's up a that king. Sunday with a yeah. massive headache, king size bed. So we've got the king in the front. And two TV in the flips back. around and actually yep. pops out back here. Yeah, when you have the pocket door shut, then the TV spins around. So you can watch TV in bed. Yep. They got and their sound system, yeah, wire, the sound control system panel there. right here. Sun's setting on this evening, and we are so happy. We had a wonderful meal. We cooked our filet mignon on the fire. A Walmart purchase now <laughs> some Walmarts have it some Walmarts don't but we went to a Walmart that had it the filet mignon and the price is you can't beat the price and I mean this was a huge steak for the price you'd pay for a t-bone or anything else a filet mignon I'm not kidding and it was so good we, both of us. yeah and we split it in half for both of us right yeah so, that was a lot I had to like do to finish my part. Yeah, so we were able to finish dinner. It was really good, really good. Now we're just going to chill for the evening later. Uh, Sean and Marilyn are over there. Over there. They're going to come over later, or we'll go over there. Doesn't matter. As long as I have a, a beverage in my hand, I'll be happy. <laughs> I'm excited about it. We finally have people to talk to. Usually it's just you and I. Have made, made a new friend, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> I like them both. Yeah, cool people. And all through social media. How cool is that? So.